Good afternoon, Northeast Tower. Uh, 172 Sierra Papa is holding short at Echo Runway 6, ready for departure. Cessna 172 Sierra Papa, fly runway heading, clear for takeoff, runway 6. Fly runway heading, clear for takeoff, runway 6, 172 Sierra Papa. Airspace is alive. My instruments are on the ground. Sixty rotating. American twenty four twenty seven. Verify speed assign one nine zero. Excellent, thank you. What's the rate of climb? Dy. A touch down song elevation here is one RNA. So when I get it to be about well, I would say 600, I will start my turn to Jarlin. Skyhawk 172 Sierra Papa, you can proceed on course, uh, remain clear of the Bravo airspace, and you can contact uh, Philly Approach on 123.8. Or to feel the approach, stay away, stay away from the Bravo space. Proceed on court. Uh, one seventy two Sierra Papa. Approach one seventy two Sierra Papa eight hundred four twenty five hundred. Skylark one seventy two Sierra Papa radar contact. Maintain VFR. Remain clear of the Bravo airspace. Airspace. Pardon me. And uh, you can proceed on uh, your intended route. Uh, why would I do VFR if it's so far? Say again? Uh, you say you say proceed VFR, but yeah. we're doing IFR. Uh, you, well, you didn't get a clearance from me, so I wasn't sure what you were, what oh, you yeah, were no, doing. No, we're, we're doing. We're doing IFR, and so we're doing IFR. So, Cessna 172 Sierra Papa, radar contact, uh, climb and maintain uh, 3,000 and proceed direct to the uh, ARD Alpha Romeo Delta VOR. Flying on 3,000, proceed direct to the ARD VOR, once we get to Sierra Papa. Sorry about that. I just uh, okay. thought you were depart, pretending like you were doing a VFR practice flight. Skyhawk 172 Sierra Papa, due to air traffic, the delays I have holding instructions for you. Advise when you're ready to copy. Uh, let me put this. If you see, I have. Hopefully, that will maintain. Ready to copy 172 Sierra Papa. 172 Sierra Papa, hold east of the Yardley VOR on the 090 degree radial. Maintain 3000 and expect further clearance at uh, 2145 Zulu. Time now 2123 Zulu. Uh, hold on the east of the uh, 109 radial at 3000. Uh, expect for the clearance at 2145 and the current time is 2143. Zulu. 172 Sierra Papa. Reback is correct, except clarify, please, the radial. The radial is 090. 090 on the radial, 172 Sierra Papa. Okay, reback is correct. 
zero nine zero will be east, and you didn't specify this was a left tour, so this is gonna be a teardrop entry to the zero nine zero radial. Uh, so that means that uh, a large is a less uh, left at. So I'm gonna have to reduce. Uh, so it's not gonna be zero. It's my first my entry is not gonna be zero nine zero. My entry is going to be 060 because I have to remove 30. Um, and I'm going to do that for one minute. And I'm going to put my time, uh, my 090, uh, I have I have my uh, my uh, heading there. So 090 for one. Now I need to calculate the reciprocal to that. I am very close. The reciprocal to that, that's very easy. That's uh, a zero and zero, that's where right two seven zero. Okay, two seven zero. All right, so hopefully I'm gonna level, uh, it's gonna level me at 3,000. I am right now uh, 5.9 from the um, BOR and I'm stabilizing at 3,000. Yep, 3,000. I'm gonna build some airspeed here. Skok 172, Sarah Pop, I uh, have a squawk code for you. Uh, squawk now uh, 3542, please. Squawk 3542, 172, Sarah Pop. I'm sorry, who is that for? American 1030, to send the main tank back down 030, American Spirit 1045, final, 1245, 4 heading up to the station. 4.6 from the BOR. This is a, uh, uh, this is gonna be a chair drop entry, so this is what is gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, as soon as I get to the fix, I'm going to, uh, to the BUR, I'm going to uh, do my turn, I'm gonna do my time, please, throttle, and talk. So turn to 060, and then time, one minute, uh, twist to 270, and talk. And a, a throttle. Uh, I don't have to throttle because I, my air is uh, it's going to be good. I never thought. Okay. Very good. You, you, you scripted it out very well. You, you, you're ahead of things. You're thinking ahead. That's great. Good job. We are 2.0. Something that is going to happen is that eventually I'm going to get to my um, corner of confusion, about 0 0.5. I'm going to enter my corner of confusion. So I have to remember not to follow that. It will uh, just need to keep myself here. Also, if you don't, don't if you don't remember here, make sure that you pay attention to autopilot because it'll go crazy when it goes into the code and confusion. You may want to yeah. go to heading mode. You know, uh, you could just go to heading mode and and cross and then use your heading bug to fly around. Uh, is he is he making your hand flight predominantly or what? Uh, predominantly, but uh, there was a. The, the student that I got to watch, uh, he was actually using the autopilot all the time. It's like, oh, I can well, do that too. Th that's what so, I'd have you do. I would, I would have told you leave your autopilot on, but go ahead and switch over to heading mode and just fly with your bug. You know, right, just so let, let, let the autopilot hold altitude, and you just fly yeah, the yeah. hold with your bug. Well, let me hit, yeah. Let, let me use do that yeah. uh, right yeah. now. Zero point nine. Hold on a minute. Okay. Uh, let me use uh, heading. There you go. He heading zero nine zero. Why did it get called? Uh, why is it? All right, so no zero six zero. So I'm 0 0.5. Well, I mean, I'll do this manually just at the beginning. 
So I am point five. It's coming along. So I get turning to my heading. Timing. Enter. Uh, turn time. Twist. Two seven zero. Oh, that's two, two seven zero. Two six five go. seven zero. Okay, throttle, and uh, that's a good airspeed, and top. Uh, approach 172 Sierra Papa, enter the fall at uh, 2129 Sulu. Skog 172 Sierra Papa, copy that, thank you. The other thing that you need to add, if you're going to meet the, A the AIM's uh, advice for that call, is your current altitude and the name of the fix that you're holding at. So Yardley 3000 and time is currently 2130, usually works fine. Just the altitude, name of the fix, and your current Zulu time that you're reading in your cockpit. Okay. Now we're good turning at because this was, uh, no, because this was, uh, we're gonna do nap. I would just fly it with the heading bug, be honest with you. Heading mode? Yeah, just, just fly it with your heading bug. Just make that turn around and you leave the autopilot on. Let it hold altitude for you and just okay. dem demonstrate uh, the whole flying the heading bug for all your direction and tracking. And uh, let me. Okay, so I'm right now in my inbound leg. Yeah, you're you're working on it absolutely. Okay, so let's do this. Once I go straight, I'm gonna try to put that pilot heading mode and all that. Okay, that's fine. American 437 clear yeah, altitude. Good. Doing good. Final, doing good there. We just got got off uh, away from our inbound course a little far there, but you'll, t yeah. you'll tidy that up. That's not a problem. There it comes. It's coming along, and I'm coming along. Okay. Good. American 437, just fly heading a 070. Okay, so I can put the autopilot here. And head. Okay, so yeah. heading. Yeah, but the yeah. heading. I, I would heading just. Is, yeah, but put the heading, heading bug in front of the airplane and just fly the airplane okay, around heading. the hole with your heading bug. You follow me? Okay. Let's do uh, heading mode. Uh, there you go. Just, just keep your needle set with your heading, heading mode. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's quite yeah. easy to do. Okay. Now I have to go back to the other heading, the, the, which is 090. Okay. So let's go back and uh, start that rotor. Let's uh, start nice. It's going to be zero. Yeah, now again, all, all I'd have told you to do is just take your heading knob and twist it around here and let the autopilot fly it around there for you. Yeah. So just leave, leave the autopilot on so you don't have to struggle with altitude. It's totally acceptable. Okay. So let's see if the yeah, heading, the autopilot doing it. Yeah, why not? Let me do zero, 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 zero. Just keep it, keep it coming all the way around to about yeah. right there. What well, it's 90 degrees is your uh, outbound uh, leg direction right now. So. There you go. Let me let me get rid of my drawings. And then when do you start your time when you roll out on this outbound leg? Uh, either when it changes or when Which was, uh, my winter leg. Just just then. <laughs> it, yeah. it happened quick, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Okay, so now this is my outbound leg, yep. and I started the timer again. Very good, very good. 
So you told me you told me to wait until uh, twenty one forty five, but we can we can uh, I guess that you know if you are if you are happy with no my... that's just your expect for the clearance. So, you know the I hopes would be that is would be that you would leave before then in reality, you know. But okay. uh, remember they have to give you that so that your your clearance that you originally got does not mm -hmm. lapse. You see, and okay. so I, I would either update it if I had to keep you in the hole longer. Uh, you know, when it started getting close to the uh, uh, expect further clearance time that I uh, that I gave you in the beginning, I would have to mm -hmm. update that. But you, as a pilot, have to keep an eye on it yourself as well. You both have a responsibility to keep that uh, clearance in check with regard to time. If I don't hear from you, then at that time I connect to the You give hole, it right? controller the nudge, yes, okay. But uh, okay. I, I'm going to... So, we are going to really go on. There you go. So typically, you know, uh, with, with regard to evaluations of a hold like this, the, the 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 two things remaining that I need to hear from you that, that gives me an idea that you know what you're doing is you in this case it's a timed hold so I would expect you to be able to tell me what you are doing on your outbound leg to make good a one minute inbound leg either extending or, or decreasing and then uh, what is your current status of wind correction angles for the hold? And when you've completed those correctly, technically you're done with your hold and, and you move on to something else. Right, heading 170, American 20 to 1. All right, so we are there. We're going to start again. And basically, what we're going to control is the. Um, it's going further away, so I'll chase the little. This is my inbound leg, so I need a little bit. That's right, just fly with the bug. That's fine. Okay, and then when you fly with the bug, pay attention to see what your heading is whenever the needle is centered, this making good that so you can make your call on your wind correction angle for your outbound leg. Got you. So okay. it will be like a two seventy. It probably won't be much, you know, because you don't you got you got a tailwind uh, actually here, so you're probably not gonna have much wind correction angle. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't want to spend too much of your time on that because hopefully you've covered what I'm talking about. So if not, uh, we 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 can. Okay. So there's station passage. What was your time? Fifty three. Fifty four. Yeah. 54. Close enough to one minute, right? Yep. yep so yep. would you, would you technically would you make any adjustments for timing on your outbound? Yeah. Leg? Yeah. So I will uh, because it was shorter on my on my other leg. I will actually reduce the same amount. Okay. All right. So uh, just go ahead and make your turn outbound. And uh, Chester 172 Sierra Papa, you are cleared for release from your hold. And uh, I'd like for you to join the uh, Victor 276 and track it uh, south eastbound, please. Clear for the release from the hold and track uh, Victor 276. Uh, eastbound 172 Sierra Papa. So that will be 109 radial. So I'm going to be twisting to 109. So 109. Just 172 Sierra Papa. Advise when you have the current weather uh, for Trenton Robbinsville, please. Uh, we'll advise when I have the current weather for Grand Tour Robbins for the 172 Sierra Papa. Heading. Uh, I don't know why. So help me out here. I removed the heading. Uh, I want to go BUR. I want to do navigation. Uh, 
Alright, basically what I'd have had you do is just keep using your heading bug until you got established center needle outbound. Okay, and then, and then. Now, the other problem, remember, you don't want to go into uh, VOR uh, tracking mode with the, need, with the uh, needle set the way it's set here. Okay. Okay. So, so we'll have to go to navigation. Yeah, well, go use heading to get yourself centered, okay? And then when you okay. get established, you've got to make sure you have your CDI set correctly. If you don't, it will not track correctly on a VOR. It's because, remember, it, the VOR settings are, are peculiar with regard to autopilot tracking of those. Gotcha. So I will have to do... I will have to have it set with the heading, and once I have it in there, is that I can turn it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna draw a little picture here. When you left the hold, here was the hold here, and uh, that radial was going down like this, and you're headed out on the 276. So mm -hmm. when you left the hold, leave it on heading, 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 and by and by that time you set your your uh, zero nine one zero nine radial. Use your heading bug to get yourself centered, tracking outbound. Then go and set up the nav uh, for the autopilot. Uh, okay, that, that makes uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, uh, okay. absolutely. Yeah. All right, so it's coming along, and I'm coming along too. I cannot do more than 25 in here, but hopefully it's going to be tracking, and there then I can use the autopilot, and then you wanted for me to get the weather for, um, yep, yeah, let me get the weather for uh, ATPN, which is a 126775, then put that in here, 126. So they don't have, um, there is no weather in that uh, airport, it's an, but the, I think that I can use uh, the Trento, which is nearby. Uh, yeah, actually, you're supposed to use uh, uh, Wrighton to get your altimeter setting. Don't worry about it. Pretend like you did. But uh, you, that's, it says on the approach plate, you use uh, uh, right town uh, altimeter setting. So just go ahead and pretend like you got that, you know, in other words, your barometric pressure, and then we'll go from there. Departing runway 06, departing runway 06, advise initial contact, you have information, Delta. Delta is the information. Okay, so. Delta, 25, Zulu. Wind 080 degrees at 11 knots. Visibility 3 miles. Sky conditions overcast at 3,200. Temperature 27, dew point 4. Altimeter 3020. Arriving runway 06. Sky, Sky, Sky Hawk 172 Sarah Papa, you can contact a McGuire approach now on 126.475. Over to McGuire approach 126.5. My guard approach, uh, 172 Sierra Papa, 3000, I am uh, on the east of the VOR on the Victor 272 radial, 3000. Skyhawk 172 Sierra Papa, altimeter 3019, uh, cross, uh, descend at pilot's discretion, and you can cross the uh, Robbinsville VOR at 2000. You're cleared for the VOR 29 approach. Clear for the VR 2 uh, uh, 29 approach. I can descend a pilot discretion 172 Sierra Papa. 172 Sierra Papa cross Robbinsville at 2000, and you're cleared for the VOR 29 approach. Cross Robin Pella 2000, clear for the VOR to my approach. Yeah, 3000, let's lose 1000. Vertical speed. Speed 84, Okay, so I am right now 13.1 from. Um, the Robinsville VOR, 
and I can I got the 80s. I briefed my approach, but let me let's do the the small brief. At some point, I'm gonna have to go. Uh, I'm gonna have to get to the Robbins Bell VOR. I, I need to cross it at 2000, but uh, the approach indicates that is I can be at or above uh, 1700. From there, I can descend all the way to um, the my NDA, which is 670. And the uh, Robin field, my miss approach is going to be 4.7. I had to time this approach uh, because it's a VR approach, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be using the time too. I had to get to be sure that I descend to 90. And if it, if, uh, if I time 3.8, 3.08, that's my my miss approach point. The other way that I identify my miss approach point is with my DME 4.7. My DVP in this case is going to be 3.0. At 3.0, I can go this one. And my miss approach is going to be climb right towards to 1700, uh, direct to Robbinsville, back to Robbinsville. We're 10.5. So, what the eight is, briefly the approach. My avionics are all set. Uh, I'm going to be holding on the uh, one. I had to do a procedural turn on the, uh, put this, on the one way radio. Going to be on the 108 radial, so uh, and my, so 108 is and 107 right now. I'm not actually going to 108, so I could go either with a parallel or a tear drop here because it's a right turn. Uh, for simplicity, I'm just going to go with a parallel um, because I just did a tear drop. So that will be straight on the 108 for one minute, and then the first turn to the left. Good. Sounds like a plan. American 2175 for spacing. Depart at the one at 350 heading. So we are following that. 108 will be my holding. So I'm gonna put this to 108. The turn will be the first thing that I do. I don't know why they are. The pilot wants to checking on my airspeed. Suppose you were coming in uh, under IMC conditions and it was real hazy, raining, visibility wasn't great, uh, and you felt the need to turn the lights on at this particular airport. How do you do that? Uh, that will be a uh, uh, three. Uh, it's a. Uh, I go to one, two, three point three, and it's a. Uh, uh, I push the. Uh, in that in that frequency, I, I push it to about three times, and that should be with the low intensity light. Yeah, I push it the push to talk three times. Do, do they have low intensity at uh, at that airport? The plate says the says L one to three point L. The lights, um, I think it's uh, three, five, medium, and then seven high intensity. No bottom left corner of your approach plate, look at the small airport diagram where it gives you lighting features and information. Bottom left corner. Yeah, bottom left corner where you look at Medium intensity. Medium, okay. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah medium. So, so it will be five. Uh, five, it will be five. Yeah, there you go. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless, if you click enough, you'll get them turned on. <laughs> Sometimes I'm aware I'm going to clean it and get it all yeah. angry. But again, yeah. it's important. I, you know, I, I make my yeah. students uh, when they're three miles from the final approach fix at any uncontrolled airport. I have them pretend like they're turning the lights on so they don't forget. That's a great. It's, that's, that's it's a, very that's helpful amazing. to try to find that uh, airport in the soup. That's very good. Thank you for sharing that with me. All right, so we are 4.9. Let me rehearse what I'm gonna do, what's gonna happen. Okay. First there is turn. We're gonna turn to 108. Then we're gonna time. We're gonna time for one minute. Then we're gonna twist. We're gonna be twisting four uh 288 and uh and then uh throttle and which we don't probably won't have to do and then uh talk but we don't have to talk in this case uh because it's a procedural car and i'm and i'm talking to okay uh I'll, I'll tell you when sometimes you do talk under this type of approach that you're doing right now some mm -hmm. air traffic controllers uh will have you say they'll they'll say in their clearance when they give it to you and report your procedure turn inbound that that does happen frequently at more rural airports you know because maybe their radar is a little bit weak that far out and they just want to reassure kind of where you are so uh, just to let you know i didn't say that so don't worry about it you didn't miss anything so but uh, that that is common at real rural airports for them to ask you to report your procedure turn inbound and then after that they'll usually come and say okay then you can go ahead and change to advisory frequency and all that stuff that you've heard before Excellent. 2.6. And my first turn, because this is this is going to be a pilot, the first turn is going to be to the left. And that's the only turn I had to do because this is a procedural turn, it's not really a whole. Right 1.9 from the. Province will be OR. I'm going to be descending at 400 feet per minute. That's going to be my descent right in there. I can actually. A uh, question for you. Uh, once I cross the VUR, can I descend to my. I, I know I have been clear for that approach, but you told me to maintain 2,000. What happened in that case? Because I'm, I'm technically I'm, I'm, I'm executing the approach. I gave you a crossing restriction with a clearance. So that means cross robins at 2,000, but thereafter fly the approach is published. Okay. So, so what, what you're asking is, can you go down to 1700? It, on the plate, it says you can because it says in between 17 and 5, anywhere out in that region of where you're doing your hold and procedure turn, correct? Yep. So, you, you know, Turn. it's up Time. to you. Yep. Twist. Uh, twist is going to be to one, uh, 288. 288. Keep, keep, keep it centered too while you're working on this outbound on a parallel. You've got to okay. keep it centered on your way out. You go. You're right on the money. That's, that's great. Good job. Okay. So 51 seconds. And this is going to be a left turn. This is a paddle. It's great. One minute. So let's go back. Let's go. And now that I that now I can descend, right? Because I passed 
I can decide to 1700. Uh, absolutely. Correct? Yep, that's yep. correct. Mm -hmm. Vertical speed. TC's busy, aren't they? Oh my god, over here? <laughs> it's crazy. You're, you're lucky to, and, to ha have that uh, as a resource to, for your training. Yeah. And uh, on, my, on my airport, it's even worse. They honestly, you like I, sometimes you have to see the way that these guys play the 80s. It's like a what the heck, these guys? Like a like a you, you know, these guys are talking uh in public auctions, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they're really fast, uh -huh. it's like that. Oh, yeah, Cessna 172 Sierra Papa changed to advisory frequency is approved and report cancellation of IFR in the air on this frequency or on the ground with flight service within five minutes after landing. Frequency change approved will report cancellation of IFR um, once I land, once I did to Sierra Papa. Ooh, that was fast. That was really fast. Then I will navigate. Okay. Yeah, you're just real close to the, to the station already. There's station passing, so it just kind of snuck uh, up on you there a little bit. Uh, so it's gonna, I'm going to see myself here then. During the station passes. Just, just note, see, you've already gone across it. All right, so I need to follow it then. Yeah, just set your, pitch, set your power and go down. Okay. So, first let me follow the, the middle. And to send to get it in there. And then we're going to start descending. Uh, the altitude is going to go all the way down to 700. Yeah, don't forget your CTAF calls in the process. I know you're busy. Yeah. Just, we have an obligation to make our blind calls. Okay. Uh, uh, Robbinsville traffic, 172 Sierra Papa is on final for the RNAV, uh, for the BUR29 uh, Robbinsville traffic. And 2.6 from. And did you? I uh, don't think you got the time right there. Also, is I didn't. Four, no, I. You are right. I didn't. Yeah. Just happened. You know, when you came out of that procedure turn, uh, you were just kind of right on top of it, and so it yep. just flipped. I will it. extrapolate that it yeah. was about one minute. Well, technically speaking, you do have distance uh, measure your capabilities. So. Yeah. Yep, so we are going to be doing that. All right, so I'm way, I can see the runway. It's way under me. Yeah, because you were late at, at your letdown. Because I was late, that's yep. correct. Mm -hmm. so just going to overfly this, and we can we can talk uh, for three minutes then. Um, just, just go ahead, you know, when you get close in here, go ahead and execute your missed approach so you can practice that protocol. For all right, sounds good. This approach is gonna, okay. yep. Uh, I, I bet you that I got a, a lot of people scared by doing this. <laughs> In real life, oh yeah, <laughs> he's dying. <laughs> okay, this approach, climb right turn direct uh, to 1700 and direct to, uh, so climb right turn. Uh, okay, careful now, not right turn yet. 
No, too dangerous. You want to make sure you're 400 feet AGL or above, just like if you're departing. Okay. And then that right turn to 1700. Thank you for, for that. So the uh, airport elevation here is 118. So, uh, so it will be 518. Five, Pretty close, yeah. All right, so we can go, uh -huh. we can make a, a right turn to 1700. So we're going to go to 1700. Vertical speed is going to be, going to try to do um, 600 feet per minute. And we're going to go to direct to the, uh, the Back to the direct VOR. to the VOR. And then you got to make your calls to Robbinsville that yeah. you're executing a climb out uh, to the east, and then you'll contact uh, your McGuire again and start working yourself accordingly, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Robbinsville traffic, 172 Sierra Papa, miss approach uh, to the east, and then I will go back and say, uh, my word approach, uh, once I did to set, set a proper uh, miss approach, uh, executing the miss approach from uh, Arna, from the VOR tonight, uh, Robinsville. Skyhawk 172, Sarah Papa radar contact, climb and maintain uh, 2000 and uh, continue with the published missed approach. Hold at Robbinsville as published, and you can expect further clearance at 20. 215 Zulu time now 2159 and when able say your intentions. Climb and thank 2000 execute the police missile missile approach and call us published and uh, will you please uh, say again the uh, expect for the clearance? Uh, Cessna 172 Sierra Papa, you can expect further clearance at 2215 Zulu time now 2200 Zulu. And when able, say your intentions. 13 to 15, expect for the clarity to 15, current time 2200. Uh, I would like to try the approach again. Scott 172, Sierra Papa, roger that. Uh, continue with uh, the published missed approach and hold, and we'll get back to you in just a minute. Okay. Uh, you Thank you, Alan. Go ahead and pause for a second. You did a great job today, really. Thank you Excellent. very much. I appreciate Excellent. it. Yeah. Thank I'm, you. I'm proud of you. Every, every little bit, uh, I, I feel that every single time uh, that we meet, I, I learn something new, which is great. It's exactly what I, what I need. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. And by the way, I like that background noise. I, I think... Uh, you know, make, just makes it that much more realistic for you, especially in your location, because it just goes on and on and on and on. <laughs> you know? Correct. Correct. No, that, that was, but it didn't that was bother a great me idea. at all. So that yeah. was good. That was a great idea because I need to, I need to start getting my ears used to yes. uh, the, 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 the way that they talk mm -hmm. and fine tune about the, the approaches and pay attention basically. Yeah. So yeah. The, this is great, this, is, this was awesome. I am actually, Excellent. I did that yesterday by myself, I was flying uh -huh. and, uh, and I, ha I had the light PTC uh, in there. So Good. it was great. Yeah. yeah, great job. So um, I'll uh, I'll send you, I, I recorded it and, I'll, and I, I got the Zoom to keep the AI companion for this, for, the, uh, for a briefing. So after we get done, whenever I have a chance and get everything loaded down, I'll send that stuff to you. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Okay. okay. Well, we'll see you next time and uh, safe flying to you. Thank you, Alan. Okay, Take care. Right. You have a nice weekend. Right. You too. Bye -bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Let's go a 90 heading. So eastbound, please. And then